All right, this is going to be question number two from the 2024 Calc AB exam. Uh, let's take a look. So a particle moves along the x-axis so that its velocity at time t greater than or equal to zero is given by v of t, which is natural log of the quantity t squared minus 4t plus 5 minus 0.2t. So don't forget that minus 0.2t, which I almost did when I was doing the problem. A, there is one time t equals t sub r in the interval zero to two when the particle is at rest, which means not moving. I don't know why they're specifying that. Um, find t sub r for zero to t, zero less than or t, zero is less than t is less than t sub r. Is the particle moving to the right or to the left? Give a reason for your answer. Everything about this to me says graph the velocity. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, here's my graph. Uh, remember, you have to change the variable to x if you want it to graph on a TI Inspire. I also graphed a zero, and then I use menu 814 to find the intersection point there. So what I've done here is answered the whole question, right? So I now know that uh, velocity is equal to zero when t is equal to approximately 1.4256, and then one if you wanted to, but we've already gone three decimals there. This we're told is tr, which is going to make it easier to just write up the rest of this. So that's tr, and that's, I guess, the work that we would do. Um, and then what we need to do is say that on the interval from 0 to tr, uh, velocity is greater than 0, which means that the particle is moving to the right. So we're just going to write that up. So from 0 to tr, the particle is moving to the right, and then we'll give a reason. Our reason is because v of t is greater than 0 on the interval. And that's just part A. It's really just graph of velocity and find a zero type of thing. But interpret. All right. Let's take a look at um, part B. All right. B says, find the acceleration of the particle at the time t equals 1.5. Show the setup for your calculations. It's kind of a specific emphasis on that lately. Um, is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at t equals 1.5? Explain your reasoning. All right. So we need to find um, acceleration. So A of 1.5. A of 1.5. Now, what I think we mean here by show the setup for our calculations, A of t is V prime of t. So A of 1.5 will be V prime of 1.5. They want to know where you're getting this value that you're about to write down. So I use the calculator. Um, I defined V of t. I found the derivative at 1.5, and I got exactly negative 1, which was kind of surprising. I also know for the next part, I'm going to need V of 1.5. So I just found it while I was there. So V prime of 1.5 is negative 1. That's our acceleration. Now what we need to do is decide if the speed is increasing or decreasing. If velocity and acceleration have the same sign, speed will be increasing. If they have opposite signs, speed will be decreasing. Both of them are negative here, so speed will be increasing. But at no point in time yet have I written down the sign of v of 1.5, so I thought I should probably do that. So I wrote v of 1.5 is approximately negative 0.077. And then I said... Um, since v of 1.5 and a of 1.5 have the same sign, the particle speed is increasing at t equals 1.5. All right, let's take a look at the next part. All right, part c, the position of the particle at time t is x of t, and its position at time t equals 1 is x of 1, which is negative 3. Find the position of the particle at time t equals 4. Show the setup for your calculation. So this is actually my favorite thing to do with the fundamental theorem. Uh, we can figure out where something is by saying where it was plus the displacement. So uh, the position at four is gonna be the position at one plus the displacement from one to four. So plus just the integral from one to four of the velocity. So that's all we need. So then we could say that um, x of four is approximately equal to, we're gonna go to the calculator. Uh, you can see what I did here. I just took the value negative three and I added on the integral from one to four and I got approximately negative 2.803. And that's all there is to do in part C. Let's take a look at part D and see what it's asking us. All right, part D says find the total distance traveled by the particle over the interval one to four. Show the setup for your calculations. This is pretty straightforward. Um, distance is going to be the integral uh, from one to four of the absolute value of V of T dt. Um, and then it's calculator problem. So we punch that in on the calculator. So we'll say it's approximately 0.958. That's the entire question. Uh, I hope this was helpful and good luck.